you know, school is its main theme. I was both excited and buffed. I asked myself the question, what is an ideal school after all? Some people would argue that an ideal school is a place where chairs were made of marshmallows, and every class, and where every class is ornated beautifully with one of those stereotypical rainbows. But I think, I think that's trash. In my opinion, the ideal school should teach its students, instead of boring maths and useless biology and all other kinds of monotonous subjects, the art of having fun and socializing with other kids. You, the students, would have two hours on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays, in addition to the entire day on Thursdays and Fridays, reserved for doing anything you'd like. Think of it. Football, arts, video games. You can do anything you like as long as it doesn't bother anybody else. Now, as for those subjects mentioned earlier, they, they would still be around, don't worry. But, Nobody would be as scared of them anymore because of a very important aspect, optional tests. That doesn't mean my students will be slouches because, well, after all, it is compulsory for them to have at least one test per subject by the end of the year. But in short, it makes them more calm and, and makes lessons more efficient without having to worry about tests. Unfortunately, some members of society would still argue that uh, the kids are having too much fun and that, and that they're learning too little and that, and that they're forgetting the very principle of school and that is learning. Well, I have an answer for that. Specialized clubs. You can't force anybody to You just can't force anybody to excel at maths, or chemistry, or English. See? This microphone? In your hands, it's just a normal microphone, but in my hands, it's a pipe bomb. It's a pipe bomb. The same uh, as some maths genius doesn't compare with me. For example, I, I, I'm not good at maths. Uh, and I think most of you aren't really <laughs> judging by the fact that you came here at an English contest instead of going to the Euclid contest, which which was going on about the same time that this, where this competition started. Now, back to my speech. Um, you could do whatever club you like, in any day of the week you may like, for one or two hours. Let's say if someone is unhappy with the current amount of physics classes they have during the normal hours, they could go to the specialized physics club. They could hang out with other physicians, and if they choose one hour, then they can have another club, for example, chemistry, and, I don't know, hang out with people who are good at chemistry. Excel, excel at who you are and at what you do. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was my ideal school. compared to some of the ideas I've met here, because in the future, we all know that people will be more intelligent, and people will, at the same time, try to do as, as little things as possible and be as smart as possible. Another question? Yes? Well, if that doesn't happen, then will be the, still the same thing as today. And I, I think that our schools are modern and top-notch. Uh, every school here, ICHB, ISB, the Shakespeare schools, they're, they're all top-notch uh, education, uh, educational facilities. And well, let's hope that people will be more smart in the future. Okay.